and welcome to Kids Chat. I'm really excited to be with you today. And look what I've got. I've got a bit of a shop going on here. I hope you're excited to find out what that is all about. But first, we're going to do the memory verse. So, up on your feet. Are you ready? Are your fingers wiggling? Are your toes are moving? Let's do it. I will exalt. Exalt. They jump. Exult. They jump. You exult. jump. You. 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 My, my God and, and my King. King. Forever. No. 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 Oh. Yeah. No. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I will, will praise your, your name, name forever and ever. ever. Just hands. Oh. Oh. Where's it from? Psalm a hundred and four. You are my best friend in the whole world, and I think you are amazing. Paul, I love you. Thanks, man. You got me a present? Uh, no. But my birthday? Today? Oh, um, sorry. Oh. The next day. Chris, you're my best friend in the whole world and you are A-M-A-Z-I-N-G amazing! Oh, <laughs> it. struggle, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you got me a birthday present yet? Uh, no. Sorry. But Paul, it was yesterday it was my birthday. Oh, present. Um, birthday. Sorry. One week later. Hey Chris, you're my best friend in the whole world and you are amazing. Yeah, yeah, I love you too. But I don't see your present. Oh, um, sorry. Birthday was last week and you can grow hair so quickly, but you can't get me a present? Sorry. Oh. One eternity later. Hey Chris, you are my best friend in the whole ah, ma, ah, ze, in a ah, good ja. What? Um, what are we talking about? Amazing! You're my best oh, friend. Oh, you are! Me. Oh, me! Yeah. Oh, thanks, buddy! <sighs> you got me a birthday present, yeah? <laughs> oh, my hip! No, sorry. Oh, 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 Paul. Oh, I don't, I, don't, I just, I, just I, I forgot. I forgot what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, I'm starting to feel you're not my friend after all. Chris, surprise! <laughs> Calm down. <coughs> I know, I know it's only taken 50 years, but look, I'm present. Happy birthday! That was an awesome job with the memory verse. Well done, guys. You're really getting good at that. So, let me ask you a question. Do you like to go to the shops with your mom or dad, grandma or granddad? What do you like to buy the best? Toys? Lollies? Ice cream? It's exciting to go to the shops and to buy something. But sometimes mom or dad, grandma or granddad might tell us how expensive a thing is. Expensive means that it costs a lot of money. I've got some money here. I have coins and Ooh, ooh, I've got lots of coins. And I've got some notes. Oh, wow. Maybe that's a lot of money. But even more exciting than buying things at the shop is if we find out that that thing is free. We don't 
don't have to pay any money for it at all. That would be great, right? Well, today we're going to talk about King David who went shopping, but he didn't go shopping to buy toys, lollies or ice cream. In fact, it was God who had told King David to go and buy a threshing floor. A threshing floor? What's that? A threshing floor was a place where they started to get wheat ready to make it into bread. So King David, are you ready? Here I am, King David, went to the man who had the threshing floor and he said, Please can I buy your threshing floor? And the man, let me change, <gasps> who had the threshing floor said, you can have it for free. Wow, how amazing is that? I would have been very excited to get it for free. But King David really, really, really wanted to pay for it. So he said, no, I will pay for it. I wonder why he said that. Well, the Bible tells us it was because God had asked him to buy it. And King David really, really, really loved God. And so he wanted to do what God had asked him, no matter what it cost him. I love to give God an offering because I really, really, really love God too. What about you? Let's pray. Dear God, we really, really, really love you. Will you help us to do what you ask us so that we can make your heart very happy. Amen. And maybe this week you might think when you're talking to God, I will do anything you ask me to God. And if you say that to God, he might say something back. So you listen. See you again next week. Bye.